This is a photo that Kia Starmer does not want you to see. Kia Starmer wants you to think that everybody out protesting and rioting on the street are far right fucked. But it is simply not the case. And one of the reasons why people are protesting on the streets is because they are fed up of two-tier policing and they are fed up of people like Keir Starmer and the police turning a blind eye to anyone who protests and causes violence and causes disruption who is not white. And another very, very clear example of two-tier policing happened in Stoke today and I, I am gobsmacked. Honestly, I really didn't think that it could get this bad. Now, I cannot show you all of the videos because they involve these people waving around weapons in the air, dancing around, um, ready to go descend on the crowds of people who are at anti-immigration protests. I can't show you those, but let me just show you this. They've got knives. Where's Aaron? Where's Aaron? Up there! Up there! Up there! Where's Aaron? So that's just a snippet of people who are out protesting in Stoke today who suddenly feared for their lives and had to run away because a mob came armed with knives to come descend on the crowds. Now who were these people? I urge you to go on Twitter, look up Stoke and you will see plenty of videos on this. I will tell you about a video that I saw. Again, YouTube is very touchy about weapons being shown, so I will not show them here. But I'll tell you what happened. I opened my Twitter today to a video of the mosque in Stoke and a load of Muslims gathering outside the mosque, waving knives, baseball bats, machetes in the air, dancing around, getting all excited, ready to descend on the crowds. Now, on the other side of the road to the mosque is a bunch of police officers. And I mean, the Muslims outside the mosque are like taking the piss, looking over to the police, waving their weapons at them. What do the police do? Absolutely nothing. If, as the police, you see someone wave a machete in the air, you should be straight in there. Straight in there, arrest them, stop this threat from going any further. The police stood there. They can't pretend they didn't see them. There was a huge, huge crowd of them chanting and singing and waving their weapons in the air. And you're going to pretend you didn't see them? I mean, this is just unbelievable what has happened. It, this is only going to get worse, these riots and these protests, if people see that this is how the police behave when someone who isn't white decides that they want to get a weapon out and they want to descend on crowds and they want to, um, and they want to be violent. I mean, it we do not apply the law fairly in this country and it's completely unacceptable i want to draw you to this tweet um from leo curse so emboldened by kia's smearing of british people as far-right thugs armed muslim mobs chant allahu akbar no police to be seen um there are some videos where police are seen stood there doing nothing and other where police are not in sight just to clarify uh, don't be surprised at this two-tier policing. Keir is a politician. He cares about two things, votes and power. White working class people deserted the Labour Party years ago as decades of poorly managed mass immigration left British post-industrial communities ravaged by fragmentation, competition for housing, wage suppression and grooming gangs. Muslims tend to vote Labour. In 2019, 85% of Muslim votes were cast for Labour, although that proportion has lessened due to Gaza. Kia has done the electoral arithmetic and panders to the group that votes for him. And Kia wants power. He's exploited the riots to introduce a surveillance state with facial recognition, police the internet, smear critics of the government. He'll try as hard as he can to make it illegal to be right wing. A cynical person would say this is all playing into his hands. Well, very good analysis there of what is going on. And it was not just in Stoke today that we saw chaos. I really do think we are in civil war now um, because this is all over the country. Um, let's just have a look at a couple of articles before we look at what's going on in all the country. Let's just check if the BBC in their article about Stoke mentioned these gangs of Muslim men waving around 
machetes descending on the crowds. I mean, you saw the, the horrible cries of that woman there, terrified, running away, saying they've got knives, they've got knives. But let, let's just have a look and see if the BBC want to mention that in their article. Oh, no, but they have mentioned Islamophobic chants could be heard on some video footage while others showed officers coming under fire from missiles. Ah, it's all just Islamophobes. Definitely no Muslim men waving machetes around. Nope, that's all the BBC have got to say, and they say they are unbiased. Right, absolute load of rubbish. Here we've got a little bit of a map in the Daily Mail of where all these protests are going on. There are tons of them. We've got Leeds, we've got Belfast, we've got Blackburn, Liverpool, Stoke-on-Trent, Manchester, Cardiff, Portsmouth, London, Nottingham, Hull. This is everywhere and it's only going to get worse if we have Keir Starmer standing up and saying, oh, all the problems in the country are caused by far-right folks, rather than actually looking at the root of this problem and looking at the fact that people are fed up in this country of being left behind because of mass immigration and no assimilation in communities and feeling like they're back of the queue and that they've been forgotten, right? I don't support violence, okay? There's been plenty of stuff going on at protests um, that I don't like the look of. So here we've got, we've got bricks being thrown at police, okay? Bricks being thrown. I'm not happy about this. I don't want to see this, but I'm not going to stand here and say, oh, they're just far right fucks, rather than actually talk about why these people are angry and why these people are out protesting. And Keir Starmer needs to face the music and say what's actually going on because people are only going to get more angry if he stands there on his little podium and tells us all that we're just a bunch of far right fucks and that there's nothing wrong in the country. We don't need to change mass immigration. We don't need to make sure people assimilate more into communities. Um, we don't need to face the fact that people can't get a house um, and even uh, migrants seem to get priority for social housing over Brits these days. Um, people can't get NHS appointments. People can't get a proper education. Uh, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. These people are angry for a reason. You need to address that reason and that cause, but Keir Starmer, he just does not care. And I'll tell you how we got to this point where people have to go on the streets and riot and throw bricks. It, well, I don't say they have to, but there's a reason why they are doing it. The, the reason why we have got to this point is because normally in a democracy, we have certain institutions that people trust and believe in as fair institutions to resolve injustice and differences. Okay, and that includes the media, the police, the judiciary, and the government. Okay, we expect the police to protect us in a democracy and in a free society when there is injustice and when there is violence against us and when we are in danger. But we've got two tier policing. We've just seen, well, I haven't been able to show you all the videos, but go look them up on Twitter, of the police just standing by and doing absolutely nothing when a group of masked Muslim men are dancing around with machetes and d descending on a crowd with machetes and they do not care. I would be absolutely terrified if I was there and I saw a group of men running towards me with machetes and I want the police to protect me, but they're not protecting them. So the Brits feel like we've got to protect ourselves and our country ourselves, so we're going to take to the street. That's what's happening there. The media, people expect when there are injustices in this country, that they can expose them in the media. They can go to journalists and they can get their stories exposed. But that's not happening. We look at the media stories and they are incredibly biased. They're terrified to mention any case of wrongdoing by Muslims. I mean, look what happened with that Manchester um, uh, airport situation, right? We have all these articles coming out saying police make a racist attack on Muslim in an airport, right? When this literally came just after these Muslim men had beat the shit out of police officers, including female police officers, which I think is absolutely disgusting, right? How did the media report it? Oh, the police, they're all just a bunch of racists, right? So people can't trust the media anymore. And then you do have independents like... Um, 
you know, Tommy made that documentary and he got arrested for just showing a documentary where he tried to show, show the truth um, of a case where it's Muslims in the wrong rather than white people in the wrong. Okay, then we've got the judiciary. We think, ah, if there's injustice, we can go to the courts and the courts will rule fairly and the judges will be fair and we can have faith in the courts to make us live in an equal and free society. But no, the courts are biased as well. The judges are biased. Again, look what's happened with Tommy. You may not all be great fans of him, but I think if you look at the details of that court case, you can very clearly see that something is not right there. So people don't trust the courts. And then you've got the government. Can we trust the government? Can we vote for a party to save us when things are going wrong in the country? Well, no. People tried to vote reform, but because of the system we've got, reform have only got five seats in Parliament. We had a choice between Labour and the Conservatives, and both of them are too wimp to actually face what's going on. You've got voters up and down the country who have voted to control immigration for years and years and years, and our politicians have ignored us. And then you've got Keir Starmer, who will stand up, he has the audacity to stand up at that podium and tell us all that we're just far-right thugs and we need to clamp down on the far-right. We're going to make it illegal to be right-wing, basically, is what is what it looks like he's going to do. Uh, we need to clamp down on far-right protests and make them illegal. People feel like they just don't have a voice anymore. And pe if people don't feel like the police, the judiciary, the media and the government cannot resolve injustice in the country, they're going to take to the streets like they are. They're going to riot. That's why this is happening. This doesn't have to happen if the other systems work. It is very, very sad the state of affairs that we have gotten to. I've said it and I'll say it again. Britain is now in a civil war and I think it's going to get worse before it gets better so long as Keir Starmer keeps behaving the way he is. Tell me in the comments what you think is going to happen. Is this going to get worse? Do you think Keir Starmer is going to start making... Uh, protests illegal do you think he is going to start uh banning our free speech on social media uh threatening elon musk that he's gonna ban twitter in england if he doesn't stop right-wing views or far-right thug views as keir Starmer will call them um from being written on social media tell me what you think is going to happen we've got people we saw from that tweet from leo cast people talking about Keir Starmer is going to use this as an excuse to bring in facial recognition. What do you think? Is that actually a possibility or is that just a little bit of a conspiracy? I want to know what you think because Britain is in a crazy, crazy dangerous position at the moment. I feel like we're losing our country um, and we've, we've got to do something about it, guys. I don't know what the solution is because, as I said, the systems we normally have to solve injustice in our country are not working and I don't see them starting to work anytime soon. We're going to be stuck with Keir Starmer for some years, so who's going to save the day? I don't know. Tell me in the comments. I'm Chloe Dobbs. Thank you for watching this video. Please make sure you're subscribed to The Reason channel if you're not already and I will see you tomorrow.